because we did some weird gigs during the lockdowns. So I did some of those uh, drive through comedy gigs. I don't know whether you went to any of those last summer, the drive through ones. They were quite. I mean, I mean, drive drive in comedy gigs. <laughs> drive through. That'd, that'd be a quick gig, wouldn't it? Boom. Good night. <laughs> Actually, maybe that's the future. Maybe that's the next big thing. Drive through comedy. You lot drive up in your cars. There's like a little hatch. You know, comedian sticks his neck out. <laughs> what can I get you? You're sat there like, oh, I don't know. I'll have uh, two knock knock jokes, please. Uh, uh, something racist for Grandad. Uh, <laughs> We went camping for the first time. Some friends of ours said, come camping. They're not friends anymore, obviously. <laughs> Got rid of those freaks. <laughs> Who needs that in your life? Come camping. I'm like, why? I've got a house I can barely afford to live in now. Why would I want to leave that luxury and come and live with you for two weeks in a field? Oh, he said, it's great, Phil. You love camping. You get to experience, right, what it's actually like living in the great outdoors. I'm like, why not just stop paying my mortgage, lose my house, and I get to experience it every day? Because that's what you're doing, essentially. When you're camping, you're paying to be homeless. Think about it. Lying on the floor in a bag. <laughs> Drinking to forget where you are. See people the next day walking around in their pyjamas, carrying buckets of their own urine. Actually enjoying themselves. <laughs> Silver Fox came through. I don't mind. I quite like the Silver Fox. I mean, quite enjoying my Silver Fox look. My wife didn't like it at first. No, she didn't like it, no. She thought it was a bit like having sex with my dad. I know, only not as good, apparently. Um... <laughs> I'm joking, of course. We're married, we don't have sex. Um... LAUGHTER 